What's up Clarity Fitness community and welcome to our Clarity Fitness warm up. This is a great YouTube video to follow if you are wanting kind of a kickoff to any of our workouts that are featured on our page or in our Facebook community and also a really great way for you to just get some movement in on a day that you might not have an intention of working out just to loosen things up. So we're gonna go ahead and jump in, and as always, remember to modify, listen to your body if things aren't feeling good, and Gizmo and I here are gonna have a great time. So, <laughs> time to get started. So we're starting off with a head to toe stretch. So first, we're just gonna do really nice, deep neck circles, focusing on trying to get that full range of motion, really figure out where on this stretch circle you need it the most today. I know sometimes off to the side feels awesome. Sometimes when I'm looking down, I need to kind of hang out there for a little bit extra just to kind of get some extra TLC in where my body personally needs it today. Bringing it up next, we are looking right to left and really, really take advantage of this movement. So we're not just going through it, we're really trying to push into each side, really trying to feel that nice deep stretch, but not to the point of pain, just to the point that it really feels good and it's really intentional. Last one here. Then we're going up and down. So looking up, releasing the front, and then just straight down. And you're doing great. Keep those shoulders pushed down away from your ears. A lot of times they tend to creep up, especially when we're working into our neck. Last one. Awesome. I always like to hold across my body for this as just kind of a spot to make sure that my hips are staying forward and not starting to cheat this motion. But we're gonna take big intentional arm circles, really try and get that full range of motion and try and keep those shoulders perpendicular to a wall or basically just straight toward the camera, straight toward the video that you're watching. Don't let that shoulder start to twist with this movement. That's gonna allow us to really get into that stretch, really focus on bringing it back. Don't let it come out here, really pushing it back when you're behind yourself. Again, everyone's range of motion is completely different, so if yours isn't looking like this, that's totally fine. If yours is deeper than this, that's totally fine. There's no wrong way to do it. We're just finding what a stretch is for us. Awesome, awesome job. Last one in this different direction. Good, switching sides for me. Bring it back first. If this is new to you and you haven't done this motion before, definitely take it easy. This is a range of motion that really isn't utilized frequently in our day to day. So getting that arm all the way back behind us can be really, really tough. And I really don't want anything to feel painful here. Just getting that really deep stretch. You'll definitely feel it, but it's not supposed to hurt. And if it's hurting, no matter how easy you take it, just skip this one. As always, we're listening, we're tuning in. Our body knows better than any workout video, any trainer trusting your body to tell you what it needs today is super important next we're doing some football arms and then we're going to bring it up sliding it back down for this one we i see a lot of people kind of bring it forward we want to make sure that we're pretending like we're against a wall so really tuck that pelvis and then focus on gliding those arms back against the wall you're squeezing those shoulder blades back down and together. This is a great one for all of my athletes out there. This is a great one for all of the people that are working on computers out there. Really starting to open up the chest, getting those shoulder blades activated. Huge range of motion here, this is great. Last 
Last one. Awesome. Next, we're going to take a hinge, so a hip hinge here, and we're going to do IYTs. So with that, our arms are going to come up overhead. We're bent over, but just showing you the arm part. I is in the center, Y is out 45 degrees, and then T, we're coming out to the side completely. So really make each one of those different. It shouldn't feel the same. There should be different muscles working. So sometimes I see I, Y, T. That's not a T. We're all the way down here. So get that hip hinge, keeping those shoulders down and back now that we've warmed them all the way up. And we're going to head into our eyes first. Y is next. And T. Awesome. Last couple here, big breaths, really holding that pause at the top for a second. It's your last round, and T. Awesome. Next one, we're gonna make an L with our arms. So you're coming out forward, then you're bringing it up. Still with that hip hinge, but we're gonna get a little bit of a different range of motion here. So we're hinging over, reaching down in front of you, bringing your elbows up next to you, then we're into football arms, back to elbows, and down. So I say out, up, out, down. Really actively keeping those shoulders down and away from your ears still. You should be feeling this really focused in your shoulders. We are going to move into a little bit of a leg swing and if you have something to hold on to this is a great time for that really want to make sure that we're stable with this and even though it's a swing it is controlled so I'm gonna head to my counter <laughs> so on this one we are gonna be swinging out and across first really starting to open up those hips going for 10 on either side Last one, switching it up. Make sure that toe stays pointed forward this whole time too. It's really important that we're feeling this in the outside of our leg, not in the front. Last one. Next, we take it so we're kicking front to back. So keeping that leg as straight as possible, we're more worried about really feeling that stretch than how high we're getting. So don't stress the height of this. Just focus on what a stretch is for you. And that literally can change every day. So just because you were getting to X amount of height one day doesn't mean that that's what it's going to look like the next day or what it looks like the day before. Last one. Switching it up. And 10. Awesome. And that completes the standing part of the warm up. So meet me on the ground and we'll get started on the next chunk. Gizmo is definitely going to join in for this one. So to start off, we're going to start to open up our hips. There is a million different ways. There are a million different ways to do this. So one way is to sit butterfly style. We don't bounce here, we just really focus on pushing into and releasing out of the stretch. You could do frog stretch, which is basically this, but you're facing the ground instead. Whatever feels good, but we really do want to get those hips nice and open here. Really start to release those, especially if we know for sure that those are a tight muscle for us, like I know they are for me. <laughs> Hanging out here for a second, we're pushing in and then we're releasing. We're going to do that a few more times. Last couple. Gizmo's still helping out. 
Last one. Awesome. Next we're doing a 90-90 stretch. So for this one, we're going to focus on keeping everything at 90 degrees. So from my foot to my knee to my hip, it's a 90 degree angle in this front leg. Then between my hips is a 90 degree. So a lot of times we have to remember to bring this back leg forward a little bit. And then in my back knee, that's also 90 degrees. And the goal here is to keep both of those hips as close to on the ground as possible. So I need to kind of leverage myself a little bit and push off of this hand to make sure that I'm not starting to cheat the movement that way. And then we're gonna hinge forward. Squoosh, it's not playtime yet. <laughs> we're gonna hinge forward and we are going to really feel that through our hips. You wanna do 90-90 stretch? Hello, sir. This is the life of having a cat. Last couple here. And five. Awesome. Switching it up to the other side. Get that same setup going. So we're going to do 90, 90, 90 in all of our joints. And then really keeping those that back flat. It's not about how far down we can get when your back starts to collapse. It's about keeping that back nice and flat. And then hinging forward. This side's tight today. Goodness gracious. I'm gonna do one more. Awesome. Okay. Next one I like to play with is really getting into my calves. So if this is a day that you're doing anything squat based, definitely, definitely take some time in here. Um, you have a million, again, different ways to do a calf stretch. You can really get into downward dog and walk it out. You could be doing this standing. I really personally like to be down here. And then what I'm doing is I'm focusing on pushing that knee forward. And that's really starting to get into my calf when I'm focusing on keeping my heel pushed down. So it's a little tiny movement, but my calf is on fire right now. <laughs> and if you want to even exaggerate that even more, you can focus on kind of trying to lift your toes toward your shin. They're not going to go anywhere because you're already in that maximum range of movement, but that really exaggerates it even more. You can play a little bit and very gently, especially if there are knee issues with moving the knee in different directions. A lot of times, especially if we're athletes and we're doing different planes of motion or playing football or track or something where you're changing direction or spinning or doing handoffs or whatever, your knee is not always going to be in a perfect plane of motion. So it's really important that we know our bodies understand how to handle that in different situations. My calf hates me right now, but it's going to be so happy later. <laughs> Almost done there. Switching it up onto the other side. Really trying to focus on bringing those toes up toward your shins. And your foot is basically in like a super squished L looking shape. Getting into those angles a little bit. Again, really take your time with the different directions with your knee. And don't worry about how far into either direction you're getting. Just focus on what feels good for your body. Awesome. Next ones are a little bit more yoga based. So we're going to head into cat cow, which is a personal favorite. I'm not a yoga instructor, but it is a great move to get into regardless of your yoga history. So we're going to start on all fours and we're really focusing on over exaggerating that arch in our backs in both directions. So first we're going to push into the ground, really, really focus on getting that back up as high as you possibly can. And then into cow with gizmo, really arching it the other way. I like to kind of play with my neck here and really relax, really start to get into my back and then bringing it back the other direction. Hi, Spoon. 
What is that? You can flow with your breath, or this could be more of a constructive stretch, whatever feels good. Awesome. And then we are going to do some fire hydrants to light up the outside of our legs. So same tabletop position, and we are just lifting out to the side. It's a super cute name, I know. And you know exactly why it's called fire hydrant. Because we're pretending to be dogs. Nine and ten. Good. Other side. Keeping that knee bent at 90 degrees. You should really feel that in the outside of that hip. Nine and ten. Last one we're going to do to get our hips firing a little bit extra is a glute bridge with a little extra twist to it. So in regular glute bridges, you're just laying down on your back and pushing up into that bridge. But with this one, we're going to add a little bit of a leg cross on top to really focus on that one single leg and also open that hip at the same time. If you are choosing that modification, please, please, please focus extra on keeping those hips parallel. You don't want that to compromise the quality of the movement that you're doing. So, we're going to get started. So, regular glute bridge would just be here. You walk your heels in toward your butt, and then you're pushing up and really focusing and lighting up those hips. I know it's weird, but sometimes to help your glutes fire, just have your hands on them to make sure that you can feel that that's what's making this movement happen instead of it being predominantly quads or hamstrings. You really want to feel your glutes fire in this. Then, if we want to add a little bit of a change up, we're doing that knee cross. So we have one leg over the other, foot is flared, and then really going to focus on bringing my left hip up. Whatever hip of the leg that's crossed over the other one is, is going to have the tendency to drop down. So that's the one you need to focus on. So I'm really focused on leveling things out, I'm dropping down, and I'm pushing up. Last one, let me switch it up. Keep that resting down on the ground foot nice and close to your hips. Bringing it up. Awesome. And then you are good to go. Get your workout started and have a great time and or go enjoy the rest of your day. Great work and I will see you in the next video.